Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking apart this iPhone 7. We're going to be replacing the Taptic engine. Um, I'm going to try my best to show you what the problem is, but it's a very weak click and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, we're just going to change it today. Um, I'll take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. And yeah. If you have any questions just make sure to leave them in the comments or ask me directly i'll have an email address up in my um youtube so what we first do is we turn the phone off uh, make sure the phone is on low battery preferably below 20 percent um it's just in case you puncture the battery and uh it decides to go up in flames which has happened before so first we're going to remove the two bottom screws i've already done that no, i haven't actually remove the two bottom screws one two so this uses apple's own screwdriver which is called pentalope um, let me show you the number on the screw grip here it's called p2 or pentalope 2 right that's going to focus once we've got those two bottom screws removed um, we're gonna take off the display which is easier than you think Although with the iPhone 7 and the 6S, or anything above the 6S, there's going to be a glue seal that runs around the perimeter of the phone. Now, because I've already been into this phone and I knew I was going to have to go into it again, uh, I didn't put the seal back. So it is easy as literally lifting up. Now, on most of the phones, if you go under this corner here, There's more of a gap and you can easily get something to pry up with, whether it be a playing card or um, one of these picks that I have from my iFixit kit. So what you're going to want to do when you get it under that lip there is you're going to want to run this all the way around the phone. Um, be careful at the top because it's just going to clamp you down a bit. There's no cables. Um, but you've got to be more careful on this side because that's where the cables are. So be careful at kind of the top here and down here. Just make sure you don't go any further than that. So look how deep that's going. Um, and then you're going to cut around the glue. You're better off using heat as well, actually. And when you've done that, you want to lift the display up, pull it down because there's a lip at the top. And then you're going to open it like a book. And there you are, get in. Now, I like to use a prop to hold the display up. Um, let me just move you guys back a bit. So once you've propped the display up, get rid of the pentalope. You're going to need it there. And you're going to want to move onto... Well, that's if you're doing a screen replacement, actually. Because I'm not replacing the screen, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go straight onto my um, normal screw bit so this is just a zero a zero let me show you the number there you go i don't know if you can see that actually there you go uh, there's three screws holding in the tactic engine so remove that i'll take you close up in a second so one screw is here two three so once we take those screws out this one's gonna give me a bit of trouble so I'm gonna grab my tweezers and hopefully lift that straight out there we go. but you're gonna to want to make sure you keep them in order so I like to do it in the not in like a one two three but in the shape that I took it out so um, I'll show you that here. There's three screws, and they came out in like that sort of order. So there was one screw on the right, and there were two screws on the left. And you make sure you have them in the same place when you take them out. Now with the iPhone 7, there's a little bracket here where the Taptic engine connects onto. Um, this comes out with two screws. So I'm doing this through the viewfinder of my phone. So apologies, I'm not very good right now. One, two, 
So again, keep these in the same order that you took them out in. The screws are different sizes, so you do not want to get them mixed up. Let's go back to the tweezers. What we're going to do is we're going to lift this black bracket up like that. And then here is your connector to attach it in. You're going to pry up on that and out it comes. So it's as easy as that pretty much. We get our new Taptic engine, put it in, make sure it lines up, and make sure that, again, um, sorry about the dodgy handling here. So if you look here on this one, the cable is bent in a very specific way. So we're gonna wanna try and copy that. Now, because this was pulled out another iPhone 7, it's mostly already been done for us. So look, you turn them over the same way. There we go. You can't see it. There we go. Bend it in the right direction. And yeah, we're going to put that in. Like so. And then we're going to want to connect it back up. Um, you can use your fingers for this. You don't have to use your tweezers. I like it. Screw it back down. Make sure you remember where your screws went. If not, I know. Get yourself a magnetic mat like this. Um, the screws are magnetized to it, so there's less of a chance of you losing the screw, and there's less of a chance of it um, getting knocked while you're working. So look, the screws attached there now because the magnet's stronger on my screwdriver. It's gonna stay attached to that. But look screws there, it's not going anywhere. So let's screw that back into the bracket again. Very nice and easy. There we are. Okay, now we're going back onto the Taptic engine screws. Um, you can just follow this video backwards, but I like showing everything. Every time I take a phone apart and change a part in it, I always like to test it before I put it back together because, you know, especially with these phones where you've got to put a seal in them, it's a lot harder to take it apart. You know, you waste, you waste a seal. So I always like testing it. Um, you don't have to stick the display down, but you do have to make sure everything's plugged in. Um, let it boot up. And that already feels better. So I don't know if you guys know, but the iPhone 7, um, the home button isn't actually a home button. What they've done is, is they've just used sort of haptic touch is what they call it. But that already feels a lot better. All right, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope that's helped. And yeah, catch you in the next video.